Welcome to the farm show. This week we're not at a farm. We're in the heart of the Bongards cheese plant in Perm. Daryl Larson, the plant manager, is with us. And we're in a room that's got a lot of stainless steel here. What, how many big cheese makers have we got in this? Well, this is, our, this is our cheese vat room. Yeah. In this room we have eight 55,000 pound cheese vats. We process about 200,000 pounds of milk an hour through this room into about 20,000 pounds of cheese per hour. Uh, the worker, Gan, I see he was going around adding ingredients or, I don't know the process, but he's Correct. monitoring what's happening. The, the first step of the process is to pasteurize the milk. From the pasteurizer, the milk comes up into one of these vats is filled at a time. We've got eight vats, like we said earlier, and we go from filling one to the next to the next. It's a continuous process once we start up every day. In these vats, we'll add ingredients, we'll add starter culture, we'll add calcium chloride, we'll add color if we're making colored block. And then at the very end of the process, when it's still milk, we'll add rennet, which is an enzyme that coagulates the milk into cheese curd. Well, how, how long with, from start to finish? From start to finish in this room is about two and a half hours from the time we start filling a vat till the time it's empty. Mm -hmm. And then the, the cheese in the cheese in the way from these vats then will be pumped to our cheese belts, which we'll look at a little bit later, where we separate the whey from the curd and what, allow the acidity to develop and turn it into cheese. When it leaves these vats, is it a liquid yet? It's a liquid with solids floating around in it. Um, and we'll take a picture later inside the vat so you can see the, okay, the curd and the whey. This is where the process starts. Large tankers of milk, some of which hold 60,000 pounds, are delivered to the Perm plant 24 hours a day. This is step two of the cheese making process, where the milk is pasteurized at a rate of 180,000 pounds per hour. In an average day at the Perm plant, the following will take place. The 120 employees at the plant will process 3.6 million pounds of milk, about 80 truckloads into 40 pound blocks or 500 pound barrels of cheese. The plant will also produce 360,000 pounds of cheese, nine semi-loads, and 30,000 pounds, one semi-load of whey protein products. Now, we enter the room where the curd gets separated from the whey on a three-story high moving belt that allows the liquid portion, whey, to drain through leaving the solid portion, cheese, to move on down the belt where it is kept warm and gently stirred. Then, onto another belt where the cheese is salted and sent on to be packaged into 40 pound blocks or 500 pound barrels. Here we have the cheese formed into 40 pound blocks being put into plastic pouches and vacuum sealed. The packaged cheese moves down the conveyors and it is routed to a boxing machine that puts it in a cardboard box. From there, the blocks of cheese go across a scale, has a lock code and weight affixed to each block, and then it's off to the robot which puts 54 blocks on a pallet, stretch wraps the pallet, and sends it off to the cooler. Now we move on to 500 pound barrels of cheese being produced. These barrels are later used in one of the other Bongard's plants to produce processed cheese. First the barrels are filled with curd from the salting belt. Then the filled barrels are pressed to form the cheese into one solid 500 pound chunk. Then it's off to the vacuum sealer where the plastic bag is vacuum sealed to keep the air out. From there barrels are transported on a conveyor to be palletized and stored in the cooler until shipment. Yeah, that was a, that's quite an interesting tour inside the plant. I don't know if we'll catch all the details, but that was, it was fascinating, Daryl. All the equipment and how the whole process goes there. Um, and the milk, is, is this 24 hours or how often do the trucks arrive here? Yeah, we receive milk 24 hours a day. Uh, we operate the plant about 20 hours a day with four hours every day for cleaning all of the equipment. Mm -hmm. We process about 180,000 pounds of milk an hour. We run about 3.6 million pounds of milk per day. 
So simple math, a 10% yield, that gives us about 360,000 pounds of cheese per day. What, what types of cheese are we running now? Mostly American cheese. Most of our production is in 500 pound barrels for further processing in our other two plants in, in Bond Guards, Minnesota and Humboldt, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And Bond Guards is a farmer owned co-op headquartered in, uh, well, the Bond Guards, the little town of Bond Guards was the first that, plant, that was right? the first plan. Our headquarters, our corporate headquarters is in Chanhassen now. And, and like I said earlier, we've got three plants. The plant here in Purim, which makes natural cheese and whey. And then the plant in Bond Guards, Minnesota, the original plant that makes processed cheese and cut and wrap cheese. And then our plant in Humboldt, Tennessee, which makes processed cheese and shredded cheese. Wow. <laughs> Quite a process. And you're exactly right. It's a farmer-owned co-op. All of the proceeds from all the work that we do goes back to the farmers. Right. And in the Perm area, the Lakes area co-op, uh, does the trucking. They, exactly. uh, and uh, quite a few of the farmers are members of that co-op and get their milk sold through Bond Guards then. Exactly. So it works real well. Well, thanks for watching TV3. We'll uh, catch you next week on another issue of The Farm Show.